Hello there guys, it's Cool Fox over here and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the Lihoon H9 action camera. Now you can find these under a lot of different names as this is just a very generic model and as you can see on the front all there is displayed is the model number which is the authentic H9 in this case and you've also got that it's a 4K model and that it has a remote included. On the back there are some specifications which I was actually pretty impressed by at this price point at around $70. On the side there are some accessories listed and when opening the box you are first greeted with the action camera itself. Now the action camera is displayed up top with the waterproof housing already on it. And now going through the accessories included, you've got these bandages which you can use for many different reasons. As you can see they are actually of pretty high quality which is nice to see at this price point. Then you've got some quick start guides as you can see right here. You've got a lot to go through if you want so you may pause the video if you would like to read all of that but we will continue on with the video. You have also got a another manual for the remote control and yeah that's not really that important. Now moving on you've got an extra battery which is very nice to see as the battery on this one lasts for about an hour and a half on 1080p 60 frames per second. There are two mounts of that before but one is already mounted on my helmet. That's a type of clip which there are seven of in total. That is another type of clip and those are some other bandages. That is a lens cloth which, is, which would be very useful if you get some smudges on the lens. That was the remote which is actually very useful and I will show you a bit more in depth later. That was the handlebar mount and this is the charger. This is another type of mount for those interested. And this is another one. So as you can see there are a lot of different mounts which you can use to mount on different things. Now this is a USB cable which you can plug into the charger and then plug into the action camera to charge the action camera. This is another clip and yeah you get the point. There are a lot of different mounts and clips. Now this is another protective back door which you can use if the other one goes or maybe breaks or something. And this is obviously another mount. Now as you can see the camera is actually pretty nice, it's got 4 buttons in total and to open the back door you'll have to open the hatch like that. And the camera itself is actually very small and pretty nice in my opinion. As you can see right here it also has a sleek design which I am very pleased of. You have red accents on the button to show you what they do, which is also a nice addition. Now if you hold the mode or power button, the action camera will power on. And as you can see going through the different modes, you've got video, photo, burst mode and time lapse. Then you've obviously got the settings, which we will go through very fast. You can use those two buttons to navigate through the settings and the button up top to change from the different types of settings.
Now as you can see this is the lens itself and it's actually got a 170 degrees uh, viewing angle which is actually pretty wide and the quality is also pretty nice and you will see a test of that later. As you can see there is also a red indicator which is also nicely included. Now you've also got some other ports and the micro SD card is pretty jammed up in there so it won't go anywhere unless you lose your finger. Now this is the remote in action and as you can see it's actually pretty useful and you can obviously strap that to your hand and use it as you will. You can take both pictures and videos with the remote itself. Now there is also a playback feature if you press the up button and you can navigate through the videos or photos that you have. If you go to the second option you will see all the photos that you have and the first option will show you everything from videos to photos to time lapses and also burst photos. You can also begin playing the videos themselves as you can see right here. Although the screen is only 2 inches of size you can see the video pretty clearly and you can get an idea of how it came out. Now these are some tests and as you can see it's not the best in very jittery motion as you can see right here as it doesn't have inbuilt stabilization. And you can also see that it's actually pretty whitish, the white balance is not the best on the camera itself and with a bit of editing and color correction you can get the video to look very good as you will see right now. Now for the edited parts I used auto contrast, auto levels and auto color which are built into Premiere Pro so if you have a software like that and they have the automatic um, color levels and contrast built in you can easily set the video to have better color, contrast and levels and as you can see the edited part is actually pretty nice. Now on smooth surfaces you can also see that it does not jitter as much as on other surfaces which would be obvious since it is a smooth surface. Now I would say the biggest drawback of this action camera is not having the inbuilt stabilization uh, module which is a shame since all of the other features in this camera are pretty good at this price point. Now you can see right here it's in my hand and yeah you can see that the motion is very smooth and clear and it is not jittering at any moment which is a very nice addition. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more content. This was Cool Fox, and I'm out, peace.